Previously on Final Fantasy IX. Quifa! Quifa! The epic story continues! Right now. Am I alive? Hello? Did I pull it and the stream cut out? Did I Better to show than tell. Princess, will you pull up and then the pull it? <laughs> Look, they got the Scottish flag on their beds. Scotland. So maybe they all have Scottish accents. Okay, I know this is Vivi. I check in on my son. Baby boy. You bastard. You killed my father. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's like um, fucking Davy Jones. It's like, William Turner, do you feel dead? Bastard. I... I haven't hurt anyone. You heard my boy. Well, she's dancing. Yo? Freya's got moves. Oh my god. Yeah, Freya, get it. I'm gonna dance too. Am I doing it? Get it, Freya! Get it, Freya! Get it, Freya! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Get it, get it, get it, get it. That's brilliant. Oh, the strings broke. Oh no, the strings, they went too hard. The strings have snapped. A terrible omen this is. Oh no. Oh, oh no. My control is vibrating. Can you hear it? I can't believe the sandstorm sand. Uh, what happened? I threw it back too hard. It appears we were destined to meet again. Yugi boy, oh my god! My sweet angel, <laughs> come to me! <laughs> no, get your hands off her! I will take you to a world of dreams. I've already been there, my chocobo like tripped on acid and it was amazing. What the fuck, are we on drugs? <gasps> what the fuck is going on? No. <laughs> It'll go away, Kucha. Stop! It's Freya, your lost love! How could you forget her? Well, say something! Look at Zidane standing up for true love. So Fartley and Queefa would make a good couple. <laughs> yes. That is enough, Zidane. What? You've been searching for this guy for years! And now he's right here! Yeah! I found Fratley during my travels around the world. And you guessed it, he didn't know who I was. <laughs> Do you know what the voice I'm doing reminds me of? Has anyone else has anyone else seen the video of the woman going, Who's done a shit in the toilet and doesn't know how to flush? Well, it was fucking one of us. Disgusting! I must go away. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm gonna go after Fratley. Later. Stop! What? What? That was Puck? Oh, God damn it! I always miss my friend. Come, Zidane. You are now my new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beatrix! <laughs> Pathetic rodents. You fail to grasp the true power of this jewel. Oh, she's so fit. <laughs> You're a bigger fool than I imagined. Have you forgotten how badly I beat you back in Bermesia? You were more the fool for not finishing what you started. You're gonna pay. <laughs> Whoa, Vivi. I find no tasties in this town, so we cook you for breakfast. Okay, so now Queen is down to eat humans. Then why say you could die? Yo. Oh no. Oh no. She fucks us up. Odin! Come to me! Yo, I didn't even get to summon Odin. I didn't even get good enough to summon Odin. Fuck, what do you think? No, this is so not fair. Yo. Oh, Odin looks sick! Oh my god. Oh no!
No way. <gasps> Fuck. Well, they've all died. Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's very delicious shape. Inside might have fine cuisine. And Queena runs away. All Queena ever thinks about is food. Well, uh, all you ever think about is gas. <laughs> uh, that's right. My mind is filled with thoughts of you. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Vivi's like, ah! oh, the little Shrek people. Great. We love Shrek. Oh god. Get up, get up, get up, get up, please. Oh please, oh please get up. Oh please no, please no, please. Freya, Freya, Freya carrying the team. Freya carrying the team. Freya carrying the team. We're gonna be here a while. We move. We move. Steiner next. Oh shit. Oh no. Well, that should have killed us. Never step into this land again. Ugh. I look, they're all having a nap, just like Queefa. Your pathetic powers are useless against me. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. You're the general of the kingdom. As the general of Alexandria, what is your sor what is your sworn duty? Duty! Isn't it to protect Queefa? <laughs> Queefa! I mean, <laughs> your princess god. I'm sure you know who's sitting over there. It can't be, princess. So, it was true. The queen really did mean to kill her. I'll tell you this because I acknowledge your powers. Help your princess. I don't know if I can. But I will give it a try. I hope this will work. She's wiping all of her sweat onto Quifa. <laughs> Yo! <Yay! laughs> Beatrix, please wipe your sweat on me. A hat, please, queen. Come on, let's go! Run, Vivi, babe. Stein is just there like, wait! I thought he was gonna stay there and- Bunny? Oh! 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 I'm fighting his- <laughs> We're fighting his Beatrix, I love it! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, it like- Oh no. Uh. Hey, babe. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know how to wake her up. Oh, no. I would hit her. Wake up, queen. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Ugh, fuck up. Fuck up the dog. Fuck up the dog right now. Do it. Do it. It was that easy. <laughs> It's almost nightfall. They're probably in Trino by now. Do you think we can borrow an airship in Lim Lim? Trino is only steps away if we can reach Southgate. Yeah. Whoa! Flying old man! My name is Ram. R Ram. 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 Oh! It's a summon! I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Quifa. Is that the red rose? Oh no. Cutscene, cutscene. Oh <gasps> no, Limblum? She's really messing up, Limblum. They're running. Whoa. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. 
Wait, is this a place? It is. I think they live so deep in the forest that the owls don't live the uh, the owls don't live there. I'm gonna go the other way. Uh. What's going on? Oh. The slaps. Is he one who came here with the group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes, he's aware, just like us. That- thanks, um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans to find that- uh, to find that we had to cross- uh, to find that we had to cross the ocean. I'm not an education anymore, give me a break. I see. So, um, what's this? This is, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Oh, that's sad. That's very sad. Was it a disease or was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because the Game doesn't tell me anything! Zidane, if Evie just walked out, maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. Oh, <laughs> this guy. I wouldn't worry too much. But... He's trying to figure out something for himself. Thinking about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him? Or saying nasty things? Do you really think people of this village gather to do something like that? Me, Maybe. Just maybe. He'll find what he's looking for. Oh, that's supposed to be Zidane. F find what? A place to call home. Home. Yeah, a place where he belongs. Oh, hey Zidane, when you said home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? Oh. oh, music plays. This man longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents? The house where he was born? One day, the man left the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? He thought, yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. All this... All this, like, exposition. Alright. We can, we can skip ahead. No, no. He never found it. <laughs> How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So, he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son. He had worked so hard to raise. Oh no. Oh god, wow, pal, whack, whack. Why? I don't know. 
though, is it, Dane? But, but you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after being his son. <laughs> Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace. But he already has a home. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. I feel like I'm about to cry, ma'am. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. Oh no. Oh no. You are very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. You're gonna cry. You always cry. See? <laughs> You're crying. Thanks, Jack. I love you, Dad. Seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. Maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Fucking hell. Um, hey, mister! Are you the holy guy? I... I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, the priest has much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. Mm, tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So, what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well... After a man and a woman are blessed in the Holy Union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. Oh, I see where this is going. So basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? Yo, yo, my boys. So yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? Oh, we can go get hitched, <laughs> but there's no way we'd actually. But there's no way you'd actually- Let's do it. What? We actually get married. Now, hold on a sec, Quifa. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. No kidding. But we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but- that's not the reason enough! Oh, come on. They just straight up get married?! Quifa. Now we're man and wife! Time for a kiss! <laughs> ah, well. Time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Quifa. Remember. We're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. 
Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Phoebe and Queena, get hitched. <laughs> hey, why don't we get you guys married too? What? <laughs> no, please, no, please. Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Quaifer and I can go announce our marriage. <laughs> They're just staring at each other like... <laughs> it's happening, boy. <laughs> May the blessing of heaven be upon the man and woman. Oh, oh no. I... So happy! <laughs> me... Me too. <laughs> Let us be off, my darling. Faith! Huh? Yo, is a child? Oh no, I've got to give her a voice. She seems like she'd have an Oh-chan voice. Oh, there she is. This is her voice. This is the voice I'm giving her. Hey! Kaboo! Hurry, Mog! Before we get caught! Kaboo! What's wrong, Mog? Wait! Don't leave me here! <sighs> Stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. Oh, wait. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me! <laughs> I won't taste good! It's true! I taste awful! You heard her, Queena. I see you too bad. <laughs> Fucking hell, Queena was considering it. But Mooko that ran away, a very strange color. I go find and eat it. No! Gotcha. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child. Like that kid in the blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding me? I do have a name, you know. Oh god. How do you say it? Iko? Iko. Ayako? Aiko. Alright, oh, Aiko. She lives here. Zidane. This is my home. Maiden sorry. Wait. Wait, am I? Wait, did I say that right? Maiden sorry? Maiden sorry. Village of the Lost Summoners! It's a Moogle village! Zidane, come sit over here. Hey! Tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Come on. Tell me more. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No. What I want to know is... What kind of foods do you like? What kind of adolescents do you like? What kind of moogles? What kind of blah blah? Quiva. What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh. It's nothing. Do you have a fever? Uh, you're, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Mr. Two Eight Eight told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Oh. Where do we come from? Do we go back? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die?
Oh. Oh, I'm getting pain. Why am I shaking? <laughs> what is it that I'm feeling? He's scared. <laughs> Vivi? You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but... That's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know? I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. What if I keep feeling like this? Vivi... Well, in the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do, or you don't. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more- there'd be more answers. It's not fair. But that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Zidane. I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can or not. It's what I believe in. I knew it. I was right. Zidane is the man for me. He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Zidane. You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh, uh, uh... Come over here, Vivi. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars? Tinko! Is he peeing? Is he peeing on the fucking... Is ruined by the widescreen? Oh no! Oh no! No, you can't see him. He's tinkling, guys. He's tinkling. Pee! Tinko! Oh, no. Wow. So there's my good sir knight. What have you done to Aiko? She was too rambunctious. Rambunctious? So I put her to sleep with a sleeping weed. She gave the child weed! Hold it. Whoa! I don't know who you are, but thanks. Oh. Oh, I showed myself your... Ugh. Now, <gasps> fight me. Just a second here. What's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough. Let's do it. Zidane! It's okay. I was just looking for some more ways to impress you. God. Oh, I'm trans! He's fucked! <laughs> Did I win? Oh no. I... <laughs> now finish me. <laughs> you wanna die that bad? I just spared your life. <laughs> Bit of a flex there, <laughs> Satane! I could have fucking killed you, but I didn't. Quifa. From down there? Quifa? You there? I love the singing. Oh, Sudain. It's okay. Keep singing. Because it's our song, right? Oh. I'm surprised you found this place. <laughs> you got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We call ourselves the betrothed. My talents... My talents up to snuff. But that name isn't. 
I love these little moments between them. They're very sweet. <laughs> You're at least something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah. It's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Limblum. Much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you, either. Yeah. Vivi and Iko helped out at the at the Aoife tree. Queena was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I fucking miss those guys. You don't have to feel so responsible, Quifa. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you, either. Each was following his own path. Quifa! His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey. That's Ispen's line. Ispen? Who's that? Ispen is a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Oh, he's telling one of his stories again. Ispen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trino. One day, Ispen got a letter. The letter was so wet that the rain, uh, the rain, uh, from the rain that most of the writing was uh, illegible, illegible. He walked a thousand le- uh, wait, yeah, leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he a he, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And? What was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. They're about to have a cute moment on the boat. Sitane. I... Quifa? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah. It's that song. How come? Who's singing it? It's from the beginning. Bruh. I'm scared. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Zidane, how are we gonna get up there? Can't we climb there? Climb. Not me. M me. Me neither. I don't think I can either. We all came all this way. Now what? Why should I do all of that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How would I ever let this dimwit beat me? Hey! What the world? Whoa! He sure has spirit. Oh my god, he literally just kidnapped the children. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, children, no! Alright, Quifa. I'll just carry you piggyback. Huh? Hey, it's a wait, just a- No war was my fault, no, no. 
Your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar. My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act. The end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. That insolent whelp! Now I can finish him off! Come! Draconic seedling! Bahamut, king of dragon! <gasps> Big Bahamut? Big B? My Big B from 10? Big B! Oh my god, Kuja's ass crack is like... It's just like... There. Uh, um, interesting. Oh, Kuja got ketchup on his head. He liked it. Eyeball. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the eyeball. Oh no. Holy sh- We found Queen Braun on the beach, next to her escape pod. She could hardly move. And I thought she'd come to- And I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kudra a lot, but I hate Barney a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but- once I saw Quiva start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry, too. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, Mother, I'm here. Right here. I... I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother. I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. Uh, uh, Bonnie. Bonnie. Now she really is Queefer! Celebrate! <laughs>